Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at test curves and the importance of that when selecting a new set of rods. Now when getting a new set of rods there's a few main things you want to think about. Firstly, aesthetics. If you like the way they look, that's a big plus point because if like me you're fishing a couple of harder venues where uh, your rods stay stationary quite a long time, you want to at least make sure they look good on Instagram with a nice filter. Secondly, ringing size. So that's to do with your butt ring all the way to the tip ring. The sort of sizes they are depends on uh, the venue is where you're going to be fishing. If you're blasting it a long way then Clearly you want a bigger ringing pattern from a 50 mil up to say a 16 or something, but smaller venues, you probably don't need that so much. And lastly is the test curve. Now that is probably the most important point to pick up on when looking at a new set of rods. Now I'm gonna be explaining about test curves today with the use of Fox Horizon X3s. Now I've got two two and three quarter pound test curve ones set up here right now with a lovely cork handle. I do love a cork handle. And I've also got the 12 foot three pound test curve, which is kind of a jack of all trades and then a 13 foot three and a half, which is a bit more of your powerhouse distance fishing. But we'll go through them one by one and start with the Horizon X3, a two and three quarter pound test curve rods. A test curve basically means the amount of weight required to bring the tip round to 90 degrees from the butt. So the higher the test curve rating, the stiffer the rod. That's it in simple terms. Now to start with, I've got the two and three quarter pound test curve rods in front of me. Perfect for venues, probably this sort of size, bit smaller, maybe ever so slightly bigger. If you're not fishing too far, these should be spot on. I grew up fishing with two and three quarter pound test curve rods, small runs waters where the fish weren't huge. I wasn't fishing very far. They're absolutely perfect all rounders because they were great to play the fish on and I didn't need to cast very far to get to them. So uh, they're great for the smaller venues. Now because these rods aren't set up to be caster rods, they also lend themselves quite well to using boats or bait boats or uh, leads up to about three ounce. Now I have been casting with these with three and a half ounce leads today just because I kept exactly the same lead on all three rods just to show the difference and it coped with it but you wouldn't want to go any heavier than that because I didn't have a rig on, I was just casting a lead so three ounce is probably the uh, top comfort zone of these. Now the benefits of using these softer rods other than what well, like I just said about the venues is that because they're softer action they're very nice to play fish on. And that in turn means fewer hook pulls because it's a softer action, much more delicate on the hook holds. And then again, that means you can use lighter lines, smaller hooks, and not worry so much about bumping fish off. That's exactly why when you get surface fishing, it's really good to get a, a dedicated surface fishing rod, which really light action. Some of them are, are two pound test curves, or maybe even lower or slightly higher, but just because they're much softer because you're using those lighter lines, smaller hooks, the softer the action, the less brutal it is on the hook hold. And next up is the 12 foot three pound test curve. Now this is basically your jack of all trades rod. Ever so slightly stronger than the two and three quarters, it's more suited to basically most places that you can throw at it. It's not gonna cast you miles, so that's not what this one's for, but it gives you a little bit more backbone if you're fishing slightly weedier waters or snaggier waters, and will also help you cast a bit further. So you can cast weights maybe three and a half to four ounce with this, which lends itself perfectly to solid bag fishing. This sort of venue I've been casting around, and it just gives me that little bit extra that I want and a bit more backbone for playing the fish as well. But because it's not a huge step up from the two and three quarter, it still has a lovely play in action, softer tip, forgiving on those hook holds, lovely to play fish, but just gives you that little edge, that little bit further than what you would get with the two and three quarter. And lastly with me today, I have the 13 foot three and a half pound test curve. Now this is quite a step up from the 12 foot three. As you can imagine, it's slightly longer and three and a half pound test curve. So it's half a pound of test stronger than the three pound. This is for your distance fishing. Those big old gravel pits where the fish are just at range that these rods pretty much wouldn't get you to. Uh, even in the best of hands, you need to have the right gear to set you up. So this would be capable of casting weights of up to about five ounces, but it's very important to add that if you're casting that sort of weight and uh, those sort of distances to have your setup correct. For example, you need to have a shock leader on there if you're casting really far distances, because the last thing you want is to be cracking off with something that heavy and careering towards the opposite bank. It's just not safe, so make sure you're fishing appropriately. Um, but also, they don't always lose their uh, play in action. Now obviously with it being stiffer it's not going to be as enjoyable as the three pound or two and three quarter pound test curve but that's something you need to give up. If you're fishing at great ranges you need to be fishing appropriately with the right gear to get you out there. But because this is a 13 foot rod you still do have a softer action from the tip and a lot more of the power comes from more of the blank. So don't be worried that you're going to be bringing fish in on like a broomstick but you get the rod out there and then don't enjoy the fight because you will. So this is much more for those greater distances, solid bags at range, it's going to make it much easier. 
So that is test curves in a nutshell. I know I've rattled through it with just three different rods of me today from the 12 foot three and a quarter up to this 13 foot three and a half. And there is a huge spectrum of test curves and length. So it's very important that you choose the rods that you like the look of and suit your venue. So whether that's a, a nine foot three pounder all the way up to a 13 foot three and a half, it's totally up to you. But you've got to make sure that you match the rod to your situation so you can fish most effectively and enjoy it as much as possible. So thanks to Fox for sending these over to me. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.